what's up YouTube this is Rob with the Freeze Aquariums I know it's been a while um, Higer reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if I would do an unboxing on another one of their heaters so I said certainly um, just a lot going on so I really haven't had a chance to do too much but what I have for you today is Higer's HG 921 titanium steel heater this is fully submersible Rapid heating rate, LED digital display, external, temperature controller, frequently conversion design, safety control protects against overheating, and shut off automatic when water level drops too low. Accurate and extended duration, memory function, and an ABS protective sleeve. If I can get into this box. All right, so as with all Hiker products, your instruction manual, your protective packing. Let's take a look at this. It's definitely got some weight to it. So you have your suction cups and your clip to put it anywhere in the tank that you want. Your controller. This one happens to be 500 watts. At least they got away from putting like that orange and whatnot on it. So this one should be pretty easy to hide. So this one I'm not familiar with. I did have the other one um, that I was going to do a giveaway on. But unfortunately, the Aqua side of the Higer doesn't do uh, sponsorship anymore. But Higer did say they would give out um, a smaller heater so I'm gonna work on that at some point so I'm gonna go off of this so the rapid heating rate semiconductor ceramic material heats the water fast dual relay display one heater with two ray two relays is like two hearts for one person I'm reading it right from this it's more safe for the aquarium LED digital temperature display, multifunction LED display shows water temperature clearly and accurately. Again, fully submersible. Um, the heating rod must be immersed in water. Easy to set the desired temperature you want. Uh, frequent conversion design saves energy. Starts heating, you have higher power consumption, close to temp, the conversion starts to take place and it goes down uh, to almost a set temperature once it reaches set temperature it's 0.1 Fahrenheit lower than the set temp with low power heating again automatic shut off if the rod gets exposed to the air it's going to shut off Memory function after shutting off the heater will keep the last settings once power is on again. When the water temperature passes 97 degrees accidentally, the heater will stop heating automatically. When the water temperature is less than 93 degrees Fahrenheit, it will start to work automatically. So 97 Fahrenheit, 36 Celsius, 93 Fahrenheit, 34 Celsius. So again, there's two models for this, a 500 and an 800 watt. Cord length is five foot five. Voltage 110, 120 volts, 60 hertz. The application for this one, 500 watts, is 60 to 120 gallons. 120 to 180, you would need the 800 watt. Temp action. Temp accuracy for either one, 0.1 Fahrenheit. The control range is 70 degrees to 94 degrees Fahrenheit. The heating rod is 8.6 by 3.4 by 1. And the 800 watt is 10.2 by 3.4 by 1 inch. And the controller dimensions for the box itself is 5.7 by 3.6 by 0 0.9 
on the 800 watt 5.7 by 3.6 by 0 0.9 um, as you saw you get the titanium steel heating rod heater with the sleeve the IC temp controller and the user's manual so with this particular one I'll show you the application you can either suction cup it to the back if you have a bare bottom you can heat from the bottom which to me that's pretty efficient because the heat's going to rise up in the water column but your tank you do you so plug into the power and the IC controller will display the preset temp which is when I just did it was 82 um, press the set button until you reach your desired temperature value then the display will flash the desired temperature value three times and return displaying the current water temperature your setting is done you can press the set button persistently to display 70 to 94 degrees in a cycle so the display will show gears meaning that it's working if it shows a wrench it means there's a malfunction the heater will show the default as a troubleshoot uh, thermostatic will show kind of a bar graph the water temp reaching a desired temperature and if for whatever reason you allow the water to drop it's going to give you an arrow kind of letting you know you have a problem so there are a few codes that you can get with this particular heater you have an ER code means the heating rod is exposed to air the solution of course is putting it back in the water and EH Edward Henry is the water temp is higher than 97 degrees and solution cool the water down to the normal temperature and EC code Edward Charlie is communication failure solution pitch the heater and E3 the relay is melted solution pitch the heater and last but not least, an H1, the temperature sensor is short, is short circuit protection solution, pitch the heater. Um, also, when you use this, you want to make sure there is a drip loop. Now, the warranty for this is one year free. You have one month return, or one month free return and a free replacement for three months and with any issues higer-online.com or the which is the website or email mago m-a-g-o mary adam george ocean at higer hyphen or dash online.com so that's the heater and for this 500 watt it's bulky there is some weight in this I am pretty sure you can take this apart I actually see some fingers on here where where the sleeve should come off so it takes a little effort to get the fingers past these clips so there are the fingers both sides there's your heater element So definitely easy enough to clean and it's it's a solid piece and then simple enough once you clean it snap it back into place make sure your fingers are below the opening and you're good to go so as you see there is the ER code because it's not in the water. As I mentioned, this is your set button right here. There's your temperatures. Set it to whatever you want. So just by holding it down, it worked itself down. Um, so it does say right there that it's out of the water. So as you saw right there a decent color display and you saw that it was out of the water 
Um, I did unplug it because once you plug it in, there is no on and off switch. So due to the weight, they give you the two to hold it up. Being it's a, a multicolored display, you'll be able to see, is everything working? Is the temperature where I want it? Did it overheat? Did it melt? Is it out of the water? It's going to show you with the symbols where I showed you the out of water. So it not only gives you the code, it tells you in the bottom, hey, you need to put me back down in the bottom of the water. So what I'll do is, which is kind of rare, but I've done a few videos on some of their filters where I've put it in a spare tank so that you can actually see it work. What I'll do is I'll set up my small, should be leaker 10 gallon tank, and I'll put it in there so you can actually see it go through the motions. And I think that, that would help you guys out if you're looking for another heater. Be right back. So it's 67 in. 66 so let's get this plugged in okay so let's see 83.3 it says it's still working because we have the temp set to 85 this is saying 82 4 so we're almost there on that one This one, we are at 82.4, pretty much at 85. And you can see that it is still pumping out heat. Let's see, I adjusted it down. <clears throat> As you see, the graph is not rotating. It's not working. So now it's in cool down to go back down to the desired temperature. So there it is, folks, the HD921 titanium heater. Um, As you can see, it's intuitive. It's easy to read, easy to set. You can see with the graph, you know oscillating rotating rising falling whatever you know just term you want to use you can see if there's an issue at the bottom you can see if it's working it'll all show down here in the corner of that actual display the cost right now on amazon they are doing a five percent um promotion on it so it's about 69.99 um, for the 500 watt and I think 79.99 for the 800 watt It's a pretty solid unit As you saw the entire plate heats up you could see the heat rising up into the water You could also see just by using the glass thermometers um, How fast it heated up, you know, just that couple gallons of water maybe two inches of water course if it was full it would slowly go up but that was just to give you an idea and, and give you a demonstration of what the actual display looked like um, and just give you an idea of you know the accuracy based on using the glass um, thermometers so I'll put a link in the description to the heater um, this way you can check it out if you want you have an idea of how easy it is to use um, put it down on the bottom of the tank flat just don't bury it with substrate or put it on the back glass take care of yourself take care of each other god bless peace